and then like a sports deep tissue tie combo. What do you think? What do you think both works for your clients and works for you? I think a package like that to where I can just give them what they need and then be expecting deep work. When, when you have that menu of services at the place you work, granted, I don't know anything about where you work, do they have a picture of you? Yes. Okay. Why doesn't the spa have a picture of you on the website and then a video of you talking about your integrated combination of time massage, sports techniques for athletes or whoever it is? Well, I do have a biography on the website. Yes. Do people respond to videos? Better. You see what I mean? And it's just pushing the edges because it depends on how much the spa lets her stand out. Because sometimes the spas, the facilities, don't want her to stand out because they're afraid the clients will become connected to her and when she leaves, where do all the clients want to go? You see what I mean? And there's a little bit of a conflict there. I really like therapists working for themselves because I feel like you get to dictate your terms. You get to control your working relationship. And my thought always, I didn't understand why a massage therapist couldn't make as much as a good plumber. It's skilled manual labor, and Lord knows we deal with people's shit. <laughs> and it's like, the plumber doesn't go through a plumbing company, he's his own, he just shows up with his tools. Like, why can't I go directly to the consumers? Like, why do I have to go through this facility? People don't think you're a necessity yet. You have to have working plumbing. You don't have to be able to move right. You don't have to not be in pain. When's the last time you had a code red massage? <laughs> but I guarantee you, if you have a code red r plumbing problem, you're like, whatever you charge, that's a difference, right? But how can you stand out so that people think about you instead of thinking about going to the local massage chain.